Okay, you guys know this is a totally different video than I'm used to. We're in my bathroom. It's a totally different setting. I usually do makeup on this channel, but today I decided to cut my own hair. So if you want to see more crazy stuff, not just cutting my hair, but beauty makeups, body paintings, effects videos, telling spooky, scary stories, I upload every Monday and Friday here on this channel so you can subscribe for some more. This is the longest I've ever had my hair. It is about four inches below my boobies. I am in my comfy clothes and my hair is just way too long. It strangles me at night. I wake up soaking wet in sweat from it strangling my hair. Look, I can literally do this with my hair. Like, can you do this with your hair? This is, it's not, I just did a present with my hair. I look like if I'm trying to be sheer, but I literally look like I'm part of some creepy cult with a farmland in the middle of nowhere. I could probably do a tie, like a literal suit tie with my hair. It's it's out of control. I want it like around a little lower than my collarbone area. So let's try it out. I am going to be following a Brad Mondo tutorial. So if this goes wrong, I could blame him. No, but I'm going to be following. His tutorial, because I've always wanted curtain bangs, I feel like I'm going big or going home, going way too above and beyond for this, but I already parted my hair down, straight down the middle. I got all the supplies he asked for, which was hair cutting scissors, specifically not craft scissors, not kitchen shears, hair cutting scissors, and I've got combs that he suggested, so let's get started. I forgot clips for my hair. I've got the hair clips. And I've got a spray bottle because I did just wash my hair so it's damp, but my hair's so thin that it dries so fast so I need to keep making your moisture rise with water. Step one is gonna be to have wet hair. You're gonna want that to not be dry. So I'm gonna just dampen up this front section with some water. We are gonna comb our hair in front of our face just like this. The next step is to do a middle part. We're gonna take the bangs back about two or three inches, up to you, depending on how thick you want them. So two or three inches, taking the bangs back. I should have got a measuring tape. Tis the time to lose my measuring tape. That's for like clothing. I have like literal carpenter's measuring tape. Yeah, that's good. Let's measure the length of my hair first of all. She is a good healthy 24 inches. I hate it. So we're gonna see where it's like separating here. That's where I'm gonna do the bangs. Depending on how thin your hair is naturally. I'm gonna go about two inches back and I am going to take these down to about the end of her eyebrow. Depending on your face shape, that might be the middle of your eyebrow. Might be the end of your eyebrow. And that is what you're gonna get. All of this hair is going to be her sort of bank section, all right? So you should have this little triangle section right here. Oh my God, I don't have a triangle <laughs> there. Is that a triangle? My hair's so thin, like, see all this? I look like I'm balding. No, that's just baby hair. What? It looks like my widow's peak goes all the way. I'm old, guys. So there's a section. I feel like I'm doing a class project that I'm not going to, look at, see, again, baby hairs. I need to stop roasting myself. This is not a comedy central roasting special cat on over decade old YouTubers with no lives who are cutting their own hair. Am I doing this correctly? That doesn't look even. I clip the rest of the hair out of the way, just like that, all right? Or you can just take up all the hair into a ponytail. That's also fine. And now we're just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side, because I basically just combed the two triangles together and now you got one big one and it's still nice and wet. Having it wet is gonna help with cutting it straight. So I have this triangle and I need to keep it wet, which my hair dries so fast because it's so thin. Now, if you're unsure that you took the right amount of hair, you're gonna bring that part back. And I like to just kind of go like this and eyeball it. Kind of imagine what the bang is gonna look like. Bring it to the side. And if you're like, okay, that's a good amount of hair. When that's cut, that'll look nice. That little swoop right there, that'll look nice. You're in a good place. So we're gonna hold our scissors like this. So the third finger right here, I think that's the ring finger and the thumb. So after I did two triangles and I want the hair moisturized, wet, you want to hold your scissors with three fingers on top, he said, like this. 
If I can't follow these directions correctly, I swear, oh my gosh, I feel <laughs> I feel like my chemical romance stays right now. It's not a fad, mom. We need to start combing it wet. I just need a constant mister in my face right now. Keep my hair wet. We are actually gonna take this entire section in one. Now, normally I wouldn't do that, but we're trying to make this easy for you guys, okay? Then you're gonna decide what length you want to cut. Normally I like to go right under the cheekbones for the curtain bangs. That's usually a good height to start with. You can always go shorter, you can't go longer, all right? So I'm gonna start off a little bit longer than that, maybe right at the nose, and I am going to cut across. I just made that first little snippy snip. So he said to have it right under the cheekbones, right near your nose and cut because this hairstyle, the reason why I want it, people like me who have rotund round moon faces with no cheekbones, it's supposed to make it look like you have cheekbones. So let's try it. I'm going to recomb it and I am going to cut another one. All right, we got to comb it. How is my hair getting tangled already? What is this witchcraft? I combed it now to the nose. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm terrified. Am I gonna cut my finger off? I did it. Holy crap. <gasps> Starting off here for a curtain bang is usually a good place. I wouldn't go too far up or else it's gonna look like just regular bangs. I'm gonna just face my girl towards me and I'm gonna take a strand from each end and just make sure that they are the same exact length on both sides. Gotta make sure they're the same length. If they weren't great, we would just do a little snip, snip, snip. Snip, snip, because mine aren't. Look at that. You're doing a great job. I can see you following along. They're not. This is my first time at the rodeo. See? <laughs> my hair. Maybe it's because it's not, it dries in five seconds, so great for me. Th this is as good as it's going to get. I look like I have a mustache. So damn proud of you. You did it. You did your first snip. This is gonna be a home run, okay? For both of us. It's gonna look beautiful. All right, so now we have our bangs. So we're gonna part the hair. Then we're gonna over direct the hair across the other side, opposite of where the part is. We're also gonna make sure our fingers. Oh my gosh, he's telling me to part my hair again, but I lost my middle hair part. It's gone in the wasteland. It disappeared. Where are you? That's not straight middle. Holy crap. I look like I need help. I'm like hitting my camera with my comb every five seconds as my hair is drying. Pick up the hair, I comb it parallel to the parting, and then I hold my fingers parallel to the parting. So you're gonna get something like that, where it goes from short to long. And now all we have to do is cut off those longer pieces. So this is sounds complicated. You hold your fingers parallel to the parting and then you comb it this way as well and you just start cutting. I swear, you hear that? It's my soul leaving my body every cut I make. So now when we let go, we are gonna get a oh beautiful my gosh. to the fringe. Gosh, it's beautiful. So now it naturally is going to the side like that. All right, let's do this again. Wet the hair, comb it parallel. I mean, combing across, what words? Have your fingers match this and then just cut it. All right. All right, they're not even, but we're gonna fix it. Oh my gosh, girl. I did the thing thing. To check our work, we're just gonna take the two middle pieces and make sure they're the same length, which they are, and then the two end pieces. And make, make sure they Oh my are gosh, the same they are the same it's length. Hard if you do it right, Yay! It's all right. Now that we have that part done, the biggest, most dramatic part of all, I am now gonna just blow dry her hair for you, get it all nice and cute, and then we're gonna go in and detail the bangs. So, this next part of the video is gonna be treacherous because he doesn't show you how to trim your own hair and look how much hair I have. So I'm gonna be doing this by myself with no guidance, even though I should have looked up how to trim, what is it? How long is my hair? Ridiculous, yeah, two feet, 24 inches. But let's take his same techniques for the rest of my hair. So, 
as best as I can, I am going to part this down the middle and we're just gonna start cutting. After I comb it through, of course, and wet it, I can't believe my best friend just told me that she could cut my hair for me while I'm filming this. Life decisions flashing before my eyes. All right, so my best friend's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm watching all these Brad Mondo videos, but I like how this turned out. Let's just do it. Sorry, Chelsea. It's still long. Is it even though? It is, wow. Okay. I look more Asian if that's possible. I know like my most white people look more Asian than me. I swear I'm Asian. So what I'm gonna do is a little bit of a shag cut. I can't believe I just cut all this hair off. That's part of me. I feel guilty. This doesn't even feel, this feels like animal like a horse tail that's how damaged it is Ooh, chelsea's gonna be mad at me she's gonna be so mad so i'm gonna do a shag cut which sounds crazy let's do it i look like middle school girl shags are all the rage right now let me show you what i got this is the exciting part eee, get excited get excited okay i'm really excited <laughs> i'm such a little hair nerd let me Shake this out. So, to get a shag cut from Brian Mondo, I'm gonna comb my hair to a ponytail and put the ponytail on the top of my head. Gods and hope for the best. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's all gonna be fine. So we're gonna brush out the ponytail with our comb or a brush and we are going to do a little scissor moment with our fingers. Get our fingers in there on the ends. I'm gonna be cutting off three or four inches off of the top of her hair. So what I did was I took my hair, put it in a top ponytail, trimmed it and then let it down. And now I'm going to section my hair in four sections to trim some layers in. My friend Chelsea's gonna be so mad at me. Sorry, Chelsea, I love you. I'm sorry, I love you. So, we're going to section this to the ear from the middle part, like so. And this is where we're gonna do the layer. I'm sorry, Chelsea, I love you. Chelsea, I'm sorry, I love you. Chelsea's one of my best friends, and she might not be my best friend after this, she might hate me. Same thing on this side. We're going to wet it, comb it across. So I don't have any blunt ends, let's just trim this up a little. We're just gonna take out a little triangle piece in the front of the head, just like that, like a little slice. This doesn't need to be perfect. You really don't need to do that section perfect either, but you're just gonna add a little sort of um, curtain bang. All right, let's blow this out and see what the end results are because I look like a child. Oh, I like this though. All right, I changed my outfit. Let's put on some makeup. So as part of the bang community now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's so different than I'm used to. Um, do I have to do my eyebrows when I do my makeup now? I don't know how to do this. I hope you guys liked today's video. If there's anything wrong with my hair, I hope my friend Chelsea will forgive me and fix it. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think it looks okay? Terrible? Decent? Good? I don't know. What's the rating here? This was so different out of the box for me, but my hair is just lighter and feels better. I know I usually do beauty makeups here. You can subscribe to those because we post videos every Monday and Friday here doing effects videos, body paintings, telling spooky, scary stories and everything above. One last thing, I almost forgot to tell you, we cut off eight inches of hair. Crazy. All gone. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.